Hey Babbits, it's Trixie and if you watched at least one of these two videos, you already know what internationalisms are. The coffee. Der Kaffee. Le Café. El Café. Exactly. Internationalisms are words taken out of different languages that mean the same and also sound similar. This would make it so much easier to learn languages, but unfortunately it's not always the case. In fact, internationalisms are pretty rare and most of the time international words that mean the same don't resemble each other at all. And that's not even the bad news. The really bad news is that there are words out there that look so similar but mean something completely different. False friends. And these false friends are exactly what these videos are about. German and English words that are spelled and pronounced so similar but mean something totally different. At some point in this video you may find yourself thinking German could be so easy but it is not. Let's start today's episode with the German word der Rabe. If I wouldn't know it better I would guess that it means the rape. But do you want to know what really hides behind this word? The raven. All right, children, let's hear your essays about your favorite animals. What about Paula? Can you read your essay, please? Yes. <clears throat> My favorite animal by Paula Optenhöfel. I like the rape. The rape is really funny. Many people don't like it. They are scared of the rape. But I think the rape is really cool. <coughs> that was beautiful, Paula. <laughs> Sit down again. Thank you. What about <coughs> Philip? I have another question for you. What may the German word net mean? Does it remind you of net? Like in internet? Well, me too. But it means Nice. Wow, I finally have the internet. This is not the internet. This is the inter gar nicht net. You cannot pass. What? Why not? Well, if you want to pass, you have to pay the toll, girl. Where is the toll girl? And what makes her so awesome? You want to know why this awkward situation happened? Well, the word toll in German doesn't mean toll, but great. In Harry Potter, many wizards have a want. The German language also has the word die Wand, but Harry Potter would look quite stupid running around with it, because die Wand means the wall. Hey, do you want to see my magic wand? Ew, no. Don't be sad, magic wand. The next one is gonna like you. Why does no one like me? Let's talk about German verbs again. The German verb wishen sounds really similar to to wish, right? Considering that German words mostly end with en and then these two resemble each other pretty well. So does wishen mean to wish? No, 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 no. Wishen means to wipe. Like, for example, the kitchen floor. You have summoned me. What do you wish? Uh, well, the kitchen floor mostly and this right now? You know, I, I use the vacuum cleaner for almost everything else, <laughs> but why? Hey Oliver, how was your vacation in Spain? <sighs> Don't ask me, I hated it. It was hell. Hell? 
And that surprised you? I mean, there's a lot of sun. Why didn't you just put sunglasses on? Well, next time you come with me to Germany, there is never hell. I know what you're wondering. How did that happen? The answer is really simple. Because the German word hell doesn't mean hell at all. It means bright. Talking about German verbs, there's also the verb turnen. Are you kidding me? This has to be to turn, right? Of course not. In German, turnen means to do gymnastics. Hey, you forgot your wallet. Hey, you, turn around. Huh? Me? Okay. And now, can I have my wallet back? No, Martina, grab my hand. You seem in trouble. Is this helping? I guess poor German Martina didn't save her friend. But in her defense, the German word graben doesn't mean to grab. It means to dig. And that's exactly what she did. Oh, I'm so nervous about this date with Jason. I just don't know what to do with my hair. Ah, Daniela, don't worry. Jason likes you. Just the normal style, you know? The normal style? Okay. Hey, Jason. Do you like my style hair? I hope that Jason really likes Daniela to forgive her this faux pas about her hair. It happened because the German word style means steep. There's a German word that sounds really similar to the English word I. It's das I. But unfortunately, it doesn't mean the same. It means the egg. Okay, crew, are you ready for the difficult eye surgery? This is gonna be tough. Wish me luck. First cut is made. The patient is still alive. Yes, that was a kiwi and not an egg, but the joke was horrible anyways, and I figured it would matter, and we didn't have eggs. <sighs> All right, rabbits, this was it. Episode three of German could be so easy. These have been another 10 German words that sound so similar to English ones, but are nothing but false friends. I wish you all a very beautiful day. You are toll. See you in the next video. Bye. Ah. <laughs> the German word die Wand means <laughs> Wand, come closer. Octopus. The German language also has the word die Wand. But Harry Potter, Potter, Harry Potter puts his penis.